Mark Kovac was 24 when he joined BP. For 33 years, he's been working on Alaska's North Slope, 18 of them on the pipelines. Kovac says BP pays him well, and yet he could be risking his job talking to us. BP's operation in Alaska, he warns, is a ticking time bomb. I see um, a Gulf-like explosion. Um, if uh, the, the two large gas handling plants that we have, CCP or CGF, go up, in a worst case scenario, it'll be worse than what you saw on the platform. Uh, more people will die. He says it's inevitable because BP in Alaska already has a history of spills, fires, explosions. Workers injured and killed on the slope, he says, because BP cuts corners on safety to save money. BP's mantra, according to Kovac and others, is, quote, run equipment to failure. BP says it does no such thing, never has. If it falls apart or breaks, if they don't need it, they won't replace it. Uh, if they do need it, they will replace it. But they're taking a huge risk. And it isn't those people that are making the decisions that's taking the risk. It's the workers in the field. We work next to this equipment when it fails. The, those people sit behind their desks. He's talking about management. Eleven years ago, Kovac and dozens of other BP Alaska employees sent this letter to then-CEO Lord John Brown. Two workers had been killed on the slope, and the letter asks, when will the body count, capital destruction, and loss of production be enough to halt this dead-end course? Among Kovac's concerns, not enough workers, he says, to monitor too much pipeline for leaks and corrosion. When a pipeline gets heavily corroded, it can leak or even explode, putting employees' safety at risk. In 2006, it was an aging, corroded pipeline that burst. 200,000 barrels of oil spilled into Alaska's Prudhoe Bay. BP pled guilty to a misdemeanor count of violating the Clean Water Act. A federal judge put BP on probation for three years and fined it $20 million. Keeping them honest, we talked with Steve Reinhardt, a spokesman for BP Alaska, who told us their budget does not limit their safety program. He insists corrosion efforts have improved in recent years. In the past few years, certainly since 2006, um, every element of our anti-corrosion program has advanced. We have taken the number of pipeline inspections from something in the neighborhood of 40,000 a year to about 90,000 this year. Still, as recently as 2008, Kovac wrote this email to a BP manager, warning, we are expecting a major failure again in Alaska. Next time, BP may not be so lucky.